All right, so hopefully you're gonna have some leftovers this holiday season, and you've also got brunch to serve. We'll show you how to repurpose some of your favorite leftovers for a Boxing Day delicious brunch. And here to join us with all of that and more is Emma Bakiai. Yes. Part of uh, Emma's Eatery Catering. Yes. So you're not open for Christmas Day, but you are open every other day. Pretty every much. other day, yep. Any party, small, large, just give me a call and I we was can like, accommodate. You look 17, <laughs> and she has her own business. Yes. You look, and you're 27. Can 27. I say that? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, you look even younger than that. But you're very young. <laughs> so let's repurpose first of all that leftover turkey. Okay, so the leftover turkey, we're gonna do turkey and stuffing in a waffle. So we have just an easy waffle batter with a little buttermilk, and we're gonna put it in our waffle iron here. How smart is this? I know in the States this is huge. Yeah, the waffle chicken and waffles, people chicken. love it. So let's just repurpose it. We'll use the turkey. And this is easy to make the mix, right? Yeah, the batter. Just flour, some buttermilk, eggs, a little baking powder, baking soda. Then we sprinkle in our stuffing. Or oh, you put the the, the crew right Right in, right in, the stuffing right in. Really? We'll put in the turkey. In the waffle? In the waffle, in the iron, so it warms up with everything, all your cold leftovers. Oh, that's smart. We shut this up. And you could add, if you want, some herbs. If yeah, you, you like. could add herbs. So I already have sage in the stuffing, so we'll add, you know, some sage for garnish. And then I can have you help me garnish the top here. Yes, We're going to put course. some... Uh, and then you add it to the top, of course, even more. Yeah, even more turkey, even more stuffing. And then we have a turkey gravy here. And then we also have a maple syrup. So if you want that sort of sweet, savory kick, it's a good mix up. So you made it look so pretty and I just destroyed <laughs> it. It doesn't matter. So this yeah. is the maple syrup. And put it on everything? Yeah. And then we got the turkey gravy here that you just warm Yum. up. Um so warmed up turkey gravy. If you like cranberry sauce, you can add that you could in add there. Cranberry. Yeah, this is just a good switch up on your savory waffle. So instead of doing all sweet, something savory, great for brunch, great for lunch. Oh. And a complete meal. Yeah, right? a complete meal. To repurpose the ham. Repurpose Jambon. your ham, exactly. Some people have ham, roast beef, whatever. You could do both. Um, we have poached eggs, so like a little mini Benny with a chive, a chive hollandaise. So it's got a little sweet, a little savory. You've got that mapley flavor from the ham. You are very clever. Thank you. And of course, if, if breakfast sweets are more your thing, yeah. What are you repurposing for French toast? So we have an eggnog French toast. So I love eggnog. You always have a little leftover if it's spiked with rum, even better. <laughs> so dip that in your eggnog wash, and okay. then the best way to repurpose your cranberry sauce is to put it in a pot I mean it's a little tart so you want to add some sweetness so I like to add raspberries into it so you added raspberries to the cranberries you could even yes. add blueberries you could whatever. add blueberries you could add strawberries you could add any fruit you want just to yeah. bring that tartness from the cranberries up a little up. sweeter I put in a little vanilla as well so what is your secret to properly browning your French toast and cooking it do you have it on low or medium I have it on sort of medium heat put a little butter in the pan a good soak in your egg wash buttermilk or uh, eggnog butter mixture and do you flip it a couple I flip it a couple of times. You, you want to keep an eye on it because you don't want the sugars to burn, yeah. especially with the eggnog. There's a little bit more sugar. So you flip it a couple of times. We can plate one up here if we want. How long do you keep it in the, usually Usually for, like it'll be about a minute aside. Okay. Yeah. So then look how beautiful that looks. Yeah, that's a finished one. We have some cranberry raspberry sauce here, so we'll okay. put a drop on top. Where's my little cream? taste tester, Adam Wild Child? You get pick of the litter today. Would Ooh. you like to try the chicken and waffles? Would you I, like to try? I want to try it all, but the I, I'm a huge eggnog fan, oh. so I definitely want to try that Which because that just looks amazing. It? Which one do you recommend? Yeah. you try? Try. I think this one is this great. One. Okay. It's a really nice way to see the cranberry in a different light. Adam Wilde, you just so finished tart. your last Entertainment City of the Year. You to celebrate. This. Fruits of your labor. <laughs> Taste test says. Mm. Amazing. Mm, that's really good. good. For more wow. information, breakfasttelevision.ca. And congratulations, you are one of the first contestants on the brand new season of Chopped Canada. Yes, Jan 9. January 9th, yes. showing off your skills. And of course, you got to work with our very own Brad Smith. So nice. Who's doing such a great job He's doing there. such a great job, exactly. Good luck. Thank I you. I hope you really kicked butt Thank in that you. kitchen because you sure did in ours. Oh, it was so good. Right? <laughs> Merry good. Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas.